Okay, what I'm going to talk about has nothing to do with my bio. It has to do with my journey for the last 53 years, and I'm going to compress it down into five minutes. I'm one of seven kids. Um, lower middle class family, grew up in Cockeysville. Um, the, there's a picture. That's me on the left, by the way. I wore that jacket once. I hated that damn thing. Um, six kids in eight years. We were blessings. Um, my sister, who was born eight years after my younger brother, was in fact uh, planned. Uh, one of, of 750 kids in my class at Delaney High School. I'm shy, I'm awkward, I, I'm a good student, I'm a good athlete, but I'm kind of lost in the mix. Just like I'm a middle kid in my family. You know, I, was, I felt so insignificant. I was the tallest kid in my class. I lost the senior superlative in the yearbook for tallest kid to a popular guy. <laughs> I'm trying to find purpose and, and I can't even get recognition for something that's actually measurable. I think it's pretty <laughs> doggone ridiculous. So college is different. Best five years of my life helped to shape me. I learned socialization. I learned celebration. I learned the art of dating. I played four years of basketball at, at Salisbury as well. Started for two years. That's actually the 1950s. Uh, that's, uh, that's not me. But, <laughs> but I, had, I had purpose. Uh, you know, uh, probably one of the risks associated with the focus that I had was uh, my GPA. Um, <laughs> it, it suffered a bit. Um, you know, see, it was on crutches, and actually, you know, to protect the, my integrity, I, I kind of blacked out the number there. But uh, I, was, I was lucky enough, I did have a GPA, I was allowed to, to graduate. Um, as a matter of fact, my junior year, I was called in by my counselor, and they said, you haven't declared a major. I'm like, shit, I should do something. <laughs> so I, I realized the amount of credits that I had gotten. I'm like, well, liberal studies, all you have to do is accumulate credits and you're out the door. So I was. Next part of my life, the lost years, really, it's a year and a half. I lived at home. I worked at a liquor store. I learned the arts of card playing, drinking with my brothers, and I was able to play uh, some additional basketball. I learned about uh, cigars. I visited friends in Carroll County, on the left. <coughs> and I also learned a little bit about, uh, about fine scotch with purpose. I was purposefully irresponsible. I learned about money. You know, I, I had some jingle in my pocket because I lived at home. I didn't make a lot of money because it was in the liquor store. I was, I was fine tuning the art of dating and I had my first new car. I was loving life and I was living large. Until New Year's Eve, 1984, I met my soon-to-be wife, Kaki Bruska, 1983 grad of Western Maryland College. This is the beginning of growing up. Um, this is the beginning of getting out of the, the sense of, of really being on vacation or being a fool and digging deep and being responsible in business. I was a great business development person. My income grew year over year. It allowed us to have a beautiful family. My daughter, on the upper left-hand side. By the way, who, anybody in here knows Asa Cakes, Charm City Cakes? That's Mary Alice on the left, and that's my daughter. My daughter's the communication manager of Charm City Cakes now. My son is a sophomore at McDaniel College. I wanted to represent the growth of my income. We were keeping score by accumulating stuff and doing things. And it was awesome until the tech bubble burst in 2001. And it burst hard. I struggled to find purpose. I was a coach. I still played basketball, but I was a coach. I coached my kids for 10 years. And I really enjoyed it. My job was a job. It wasn't a career. And, and I really went to folks that I saw near and dear to me um, at the GBTC and the Carroll Tech Council, you know, Steve Kozak, Scott Edelman, I got pointed to Tracy and I got pointed to Ron. I found out that there was an opening in Howard County and I pursued it. My first CEO was Laura Newman, who's now the County Executive of Anne Arundel County. Larry Tweel, you all remember Larry? And Julie, Julie Lenzer Kirk. I was asked to take over a tech council that had been dead for about a year. We had eight members when we started. If you look at June of 12, eight member companies, to August, 
That accelerated growth, that was me going out making calls and telling people about the vision. The vision for the Howard Tech Council is what you folks do in Carroll County. Out of the six tech councils in this region, you guys were the exemplar that I use to build community. I'm proud to be associated with you, and I'm proud to continue the journey with you. Thank you. Thank you.